George, uh, before you left England, you made a statement that um, uh, you were going now to America to be beaten up by Americans. Uh, do, you, do you mean to say in so many words that you feel that the American fan is more a hostile fan? No, than not at all. Or a more enthusiastic fan? Actually, I, did, I said that when we arrived back from Manila. They said, what are you going to do next? And I said, we're going to rest up before we go and get beaten up over there. Merely beaten up is just... To, really, we just got sort of shoved around a bit. Jostled. Jostled around in cars and joke, planes. Really? So, you know, that's all it is. Well, do you think that's more an enthusiastic fan than a hostile fan, would you say? I think uh, there's definitely more enthusiastic fans. I but if anyone's going to beat think, us up, it's not the fans, is it? Yeah, the fan thing, I think, they proved it themselves, you know, after this. We found out that there are a lot of fans who are great. And all the ones we lost, I think, we don't really mind anyway. Because if they can't make up their minds, who needs them? Thank you. Yeah, I wanted to ask about the, uh, your image, the image scrimmage, and I'll direct this to anybody. Uh, how has your image changed since 63? Uh, is it... Uh, a little more, uh, is it the same? An image is how you see us, so, you know, you can only answer that. You're the only one that knows. Who's that? Oh. It's you. Oh, you. well. No, I want to get your opinion. Is it a little tarnished now? Is it more realistic, or what would you say it is? I know, I have my opinion, but... We haven't but, got any uh, tags for our opinion. We can't tell you our image, you know. We can only... Our, our image is what we read in the newspapers, and that's the same as you read, you know. The, I mean, we know our real image, which is nothing like... Our image. <laughs> Forget it. And, uh, and uh, what I meant to say was... Uh, I like take two bricks. <laughs> Who is the young man with the lengthy haircut to your right rear? Right rear. It's good old Dave, isn't it? Who is he? Who That's is Dave it? from the uh, birds, a mate of ours. Your hoy mateys. Shy, Do shy. Do you ever Top plan power. to record in the United States, and why haven't you yet? We tried, uh, actually, but it was a financial matter. Mm. Mm. Bit of trouble over that one. No, we tried, but uh, didn't come politics. on. politics. Hush, hush. No dice. No comment. Mr. Lennon, is it true you're planning to give up music for a career in the field of comparative religion? No. <laughs> is that another of the jokes going on? I'm sure you've all heard of the many beetle burnings and beetle bonfires. And I was wondering, do you think American girls are fickle? All girls are fickle. Well, the photos we saw of them were a sort of middle-aged DJs and 12-year-olds burning a pile of LP covers. Uh, this question is directed to Paul and John. You have written uh, quite a few numbers for Peter and Gordon, and I understand they don't like it because they think that it's you writing the song that makes it popular. Do you plan to write any more songs for them? Uh, they, you know, if we write songs for they ask us to write songs for them if we would do it. I mean, they don't mind it. They like it, but it's... People come up and say, ah, we see you're just getting in on the Lennon-McCartney bandwagon. That's that's why um, they did that one with, with with our names not on it, woman. Because everyone sort of thinks that's the reason they get hits. It's not true, really. Uh, gentlemen, uh, what do you think would happen to uh, you four if uh, you came to an appearance without the armored truck and without the police? We'd get in a lot easier. <laughs> we wouldn't make it. We couldn't do it. It depends, you know. Sometimes we could have easily made it much better without the armor truck. But today, probably we wouldn't. You think you'd be physically harmed? Oh, yeah, probably. What do you think? Yes, I think so. Uh, could be. Uh, Jeff? Gentlemen, the uh, New York Times magazine of Sunday, July 3, carried an article by Maureen Cleave <laughs> in which uh, she quotes the Beatles, not by name, as uh, saying, show business is an extension of the Jewish religion. Would you mind amplifying <laughs> Did she say that? that? Uh, I said that to her as well. No comment. Oh. Come on, John. Tell them what you I mean. I mean, you can read into it what you like, you know. It's just a little old statement. It's not... Very serious, you know. Paul, are you getting married? And if so, to who? Oh. Um, they're yeah, probably getting married, yes. But, I mean, I don't know when. I've got no plans and things. I want to make these the last three questions. Hi, uh, John. I was wondering, under what condition did you write In His Own Right 
That sort of wild, uh, those kicky words. I mean, how did you, uh, you know, put the, piece them together? Oh, I don't know. And do you have any more books coming? Oh, well, um, yes, and I can't answer that. You know, it's just the way it happens. Any more books coming? I didn't think, oh, how can I do this? Just like an author. <laughs> John. I hope so, you know. John. I don't know. It'll never be the same. I understand there's a suit pending against the Beatles by Peter Best, who claims to be a former member of the Beatles. Is that oh. true? Was he once a former? Uh, I think he's had a few, but we don't bother with those. If, is this the last question? This is. Are all of your news conferences like this? No. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's not the last I'm question. talking about all of the uh, all of the reporters uh, or would-be reporters or semi-reporters that show up. Are you besieged by these kind of people throughout the tours that you travel here in the United States? You can't always tell the would-be's from the real thing. So we Is it know. this way when you travel in Europe? Yes. But what's wrong with the, what's wrong with the crowd? Nothing. I'm just wondering if you yeah. have this many reporters everywhere you go. Oh. Mm. Not always. But uh, some tour. of them are just onlookers. Oh, no, it's tomorrow. Is this mm. tomorrow's no. question? Okay. Right, tomorrow never comes. It's the last cut on the second side, right? Tomorrow never knows. Tomorrow never knows. Thank That's you. Right. Uh, could you give me a vague idea of some of the tape manipula manipulation you used when your voice drops into the track, John? Is that sung backwards by any chance and then recorded forwards? No, it's not sung backwards. It's just. It's just. Uh, Recorded pretty straight, you know, there's nothing really, uh, there's tape loops on it, which are a bit different, and, uh, the words are from the Tibetan Book of the Dead, so there. Fairly, nearly.